The Night Blade by Toys Battalion is the 1-6 skill figure we are going to check today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. So finally we got a Black Noir. If you are collecting the Boys line, you got the amazing Homelander that was done by Premium Toys. You got a Butcher as well in the market and other one coming from Eleven. But today we are going to focus here on the Black Noir, the Night Blade by Toys Battalion. Comes in this art box with this black shading. Nothing much, the Night Blade with, with the Boys lettering there in the top and then in the back. As always, the warning and notice upside down. We are going to check what we have inside. Packed in two layers with the first one being our figure and X ends and the second layer with our display base and the weapons but let's take everything out and check them in detail so here we have all the accessories that come with our black noir or night blade by toys battalion there are not a lot of them but this figure also don't need a tone starting here with the hands we come with these gloved ends well then, the shape of the gloves look really cool, the fingers are very soft, which is cool for you to use with the blades that it comes with, but I do like the paint application on the hands. Totally you will have 6 extra hands, I think they are enough for this figure. We got as well then the weapons here, we are going to start with this ninja blade. One thing I like about this blade is as black noir right in there, the blade is made of die cast, a bit pointy so take care with that, the handle is all black but it got some nice details. Besides this ninja blade, we got as well these two, the twin combat knives that Black Noir uses on his thighs. Here you can see this one is made of plastic but I do like the detail, especially on the blade, the weathering they did like it's a used blade looks very very cool. I do like all the details about these small combat knives, I think they do the job pretty well. We got as well a lot of these throwing knives, there are really a lot of them, they are made of die cast, they are very small but they are useful for some posing or for some scenario that you want to do with the figure. And finally we got our display base with black noir ear with the logo in the middle, very simple display base but I think it serves the purpose pretty well. That's all for these accessories, there's not much to talk about these, let's take a look at the figure. Take a closer look now here at our figure and starting with the head, there's no head skull but the head, I think the helmet looks amazing, a lot of weathering going around here, the details look really good and I do like that the islands are very shiny, they look amazing. Here in the back you can see some details where you have some small blades, it's a pity we don't have the blades to insert there, but the suit itself, these parts here in the shoulders are made of hard plastic, the suit is made of kind of a mesh material which is really good for posing. Here you can see this vest is actually over the body and doesn't influence much. Here in the back you have this kind of rubber material for the pants, which I think look good, it's a bit large but it's better like this so you have more options to pose without damaging the suit. You got split cut boots, that's the right way to do them and here these guards are also made of hard plastic. The suit itself I think it looks very very good, it portrays very well what we saw in the boys. For the articulation you will not have any issues with this, you can use the arms as you want because as I said the suit is a bit larger, it gives you that space. The head you can also use it without any issues, frontwards, backwards, sideways without any problem at all. The torso is a bit restricted but you still have some movement without any issue because the suit allows you to. Here on the waist is a bit more difficult to move but you still can do it. The legs, as always we have a double jointed knees, articulates pretty well with ratchet joints on the knees and then we got split cut boots. The extension of the legs is really good because the suit does allow you to do so, which I think is important for this figure, because most people will want to do some action poses, having him with the other figures from this line. But taking a closer look here at our Night Blade, just standing in a very, very normal pose, I didn't push the suit at all, I think it looks very good. Some people mentioned that it looks too thin, 
but after seeing some photos from the um, TV show, he is not very bulky. I think it kind of accurate and I don't have any issues the way we Toys Battalion did this. I think if you are collecting Homelander already or you have Butcher or both of them, this figure will look amazing in your collection from the boys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review and I will see you in the next one.